If you think that math is hard, I'll let you know that I can count to 2048 on one foot. It's all binary. Welcome back to Jimmy and the Pulsating Mess. Previously, we left Everchip. Now we arrived here at Secret Meridian. We found Albert. And the Petty Thugs were here, too. They're, uh, busy introspecting at the moment. And we entered the Temple of Sight and learned a lot about the Pulsating Mass. Some kind of ancient evil. It hates Jimmy. And we know of a thing to stop it. We have to find a secret knowledge. And also punch Tanaka's on some kind of quest. You have to scroll here for us. And also a tape. Of course, Punch Tanaka would always have a book reading. He would have an audio book of his own scroll. Journey of a Nameless Monk! We were in Sacred Lantern, by the way. Yeah, that's kind of weird. But then again, we were at Creepyville, and living instruments were unfazed by this. They weren't there long, but they learned so much. Poor Tanaka. Oh, that's what shades are for, looking cool. It's the journey of Punch Tanaka. But it isn't, is it? Oh yeah, speaking of friends. Johnny Knives, you're creeping out your boss. Maybe you should stop what you're doing. Oh, that's a haiku, isn't it? Punch Tanaka took up haiku writing. That's productive. So, welcome to Secret Meridian. We have a bunch of things going on here. We haven't been to that temple off to the right. That must be the legs of the ancient giant over there. With the world's library on top of it. That's where we're heading to do some archaeology. But first, we have to get enlightened. Can't go to archaeology without being enlightened. Oh, a scroll already. And another tape, of course. Chapter 2! And it's real cool. It's Fractal Pollen! Yeah, we can't all be playing video games, we have to get out sometime. Usually when I'm not working, I take a walk for a while. Another haiku! Lay it on this! Yeah, those birds are noisy. I should know. I never shut up. Even though Blue Jays are Corvids and they more like squawk. But I'll let them have it. So we had those enemies from the Temple of Sight again, but we also have a guy named Burton. You know, just hanging out. Hi, Burton. How you doing? And it's not Tim Burton either. This is Thermal Bomb! Where there's smoke, there's fire, and then everything dies. That's a really good spell. I should be leveling up another form. We got so much bird. We got 21 levels of bird. Actually, I should be leveling up because my team is sturdy, and my forms, except for Tommy Wiseau, are like over 10 behind. I should do some farming. Uh. Ghost and Goon need help. And Goon's actually useful for something, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with Goon. Can't be a bird all the time. That's my benefit, not yours. And toys! Ah, thanks for the love. And an angular suit! That is for Lars, because it's a defensive item. More defense, more magic defense, and the sharp edges hurt. 
Sorry, Lars. That's the pain you get for being the tank. Ah, this is why I brought her along the goon. There's a triangle here. You could steal the edges off these geometrical enemies. And you should see what happens when we take away a side off a triangle. It can't exist in three-dimensional space. It becomes a 2D object. And therefore, it does not exist. That's a good way to insta-kill the triangles. Steal their edge. They lose it. Speaking of edge, I have plenty of it. Look at that hair. And there's a light bulb down there. Just out in the open. Oh, hey, fish. Did you like when I killed that triangle? You keep on seeing that fish. I don't know what the deal is with that fish. Maybe punch Tanaka talk to the fish. Of course, there's a tape. Chapter 3! You'll find out why you're so cool. Isn't that the same thing? Maybe it's a Lamanalanese god. Maybe it's the brother. The uncle. Maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud. If birds had a god, it would be one that had arms, too. Like proper arms. So the wings still work. Praise Thal! So this is Thal the Destroyer. The coolest and the schoolest. So we should head around this direction. Not a lot here besides battling. Which I'm gonna do more of, because I'm gonna kill these triangles. Dead. With the power of thievery. I love making them wink out of existence. They have a critical existence failure. I don't know, I think the I think that guy won out in the end. You see, he simply just stopped existing. The other two burned to death. I think that's worse. There's gotta be prizes around here somewhere. Check out that weird cone! This is the vile cone. Enemy of our hero, Cube! Savior of the multiverse! That is a really old trailer. You should look it up on YouTube. It was very... 80s. And we found Chapter 4. This is a dead end. Weird cave, huh? I think I could deal with pointy things. Shapes live in the cave. A triangle bit me, man! This place really sucks. Haiku. That's a really good haiku. I'll take that to heart by entering this cave and thinking about it. So, a different kind of math cave. We gotta make things symmetrical here. That's why Punch Tanaka got confused. So, as you can see, I the numbers on the wall. I'm gonna need a pentagram over here. I'm gonna need a square here. And that's gotta be a triangle. Lots of puzzles like this in this weird math cave. This math even in the music. Ah, we're gonna get so many numbers. Also, the enemies are stronger in here. And they indeed have edges. They're gonna poke you in the breathy, bleedy regions of your body. Unless you do something about it. Lars is gonna have to attract some attention. The one thing these geometrical enemies like to do is, um... They stall for a turn, and then they hit you for how many edges they have. Like that one in the middle there. There's even more menacing shapes than the square. Like pentagons and hexagons. They'll hit you five and six times each. So that's why you need to steal edges using the goon. And of course, this is the Andrew Cave. Oh, Buck's in trouble. Isn't that a little bit too complex for an eight year old? 
Look, Jimmy's like eight. He's only in like second grade, maybe third, depending on when he's born. He he's not gonna understand fractions, especially advanced fractions. I certainly didn't in second grade. I don't think I did fractions until like fourth grade? That's thinking back several years, by the way. That's several decades. So, as you can see here, there's a hexagon. He's causing trouble. I'm gonna need to get rid of him. Luckily, we have two mana burns in the party now. He's gonna beat the crap out of Lars if we don't do something about it. Hopefully this thermal bomb is cryodynamics will do the trick. Nope, that... Lars is probably gonna die. Actually, not really. He does have an undulate up. He has a guard. He'll probably be fine. Six hits! And I was guarding, so it was half damage. So, yeah, he probably would have died if I didn't do that. No, don't do it again. Die. Cannonball solves geometry. Shove that in your math hole and smoke it. So we got more symmetry going on here. We have this little doohickey over here telling us we need to put a box on it. Obviously that means that box over there also has to do the same thing. I'll do this. This is Gooning 501. Really advanced Gooning. Not even Punch Tanaka could do this. This has to be a 5. And don't shake the 5, Jimmy. This has to be a 3. And the 4 has to be a 1. But also, there's a torch here. Which means we're gonna have to ghost it. <sighs> I keep on hearing numbers. I don't like hearing numbers. This is a giant room filled with numbers. And molecules. And other fun stuff. Also, there's Andrew! Sadly, the enemies are actually a match for me in this cave, so I do have to fight them. Oh, something's going on with Jimmy. Seems like Jimmy is having some problems with his math. Maybe learning in general. He might need some extra tutoring. Well, at least he has confidence. Also a cube! A geometrical set. I wonder what the cube does. Look at all this furniture we have now. Some of this furniture, most of this furniture I'll never use. And we got the happiness sphere. Extra luck. And the cube is extra defense. I'm not quite sure what the geometrical set does if you have the bonus, but I don't think it's good. Don't think it's a, a great bonus, if I don't remember it. So obviously this is the Cave of Symmetry, so that means there's something going on over there. There's something going on over here as well. Probably another Andrew! He's having a conversation with Helga. I think I know where that conversation was going. I don't think that's going to solve your problem the least. Multiplication. It doesn't solve every problem. Yay, another toy box! It's certainly a simple arithmetic in here. Is this still on easy? Something tells me I should be out-leveling these guys. Even though I don't think the encounter exclamation point really does anything to uh, easy mode or anything. It just lessens the amount of enemies you find. Looks like we got some more symmetry to do. This time with a mirror. Well, obviously that one has to be a six. That four or that three needs to be the other thing, but there's no buttons there. Same with that five and that two. And we have a movable mirror. Well, we do have Tommy Wiseau form, so... 
We're gonna have to go into the mirror dimension. There's a button. We can make this four. If I don't overshoot it by just mashing the button like crazy. Oh, stop the math, I wanna get off. No, not like that, ew. What's wrong with you? I can't take you on a math adventure anywhere. Let's head back into the room. I did not math her, I did not! It's not symmetrical yet, the mirror has to be back where it belongs. The room is imbalanced. The feng shui is thrown off. There we go. Welcome to Crystal Room! Doing some studying there, Andrew? He's studying rabbits! Yay, again! He's reading to Timmy. Seven, uh, not Timmy. No, he's not reading to the mouse. He's reading to Jimmy. Eight, 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 eight. Something tells me Jimmy... Timmy is... Timmy is also Jimmy, but Jimmy's Timmy. Yeah, that's understandable. And we got a mortar board. Obviously, it's a magic stack for Andrew. Andrew is a lot better at the, the magic than Jimmy is, even with his magic forms. I mean, Andrew's not too fantastic compared to Ghost right now, but he does get some exclusive manuals just for him. Unfortunately, using a VIP pass or an emergency exit takes you right out of the path. That's okay, there's other things I wanted to do anyway. We could stay away from the numbers for a while, and we could enjoy skipping these battles again. Which is good for me. There's other things we could do around here. We could actually solve that light bulb. Hey, fish is back! Never mind. So there's a... What was that, Krull? I forgot his name already. Oh, Thal, that's his name. Yeah. Sorry, Great Lord Thal. We're gonna have to find some other ways to get to, um... That light bulb. Can't jump up there as a bird. I think there might be something off in this direction. Well, no, they're going the right way if we find another scroll. I think this might be chapter five. It is! He found the right path. He's been enlightened. Now you can cross that off. Bird. I mean, I feel enlightened. I solved math. No, yeah, well, we can get some enlightenment later. Come on, I think you could do it. He didn't really have much of a pattern. Haiku is supposed to be 575. Alright, don't worry about it. I'm sure it's cool. Out of good haikus! The Saturns use Dakota. Maybe you lose your arms? Back to not haikus. Search bears fruit. Or a plant hole that I can't go into, apparently. What the heck are you? Weird spider butt man. It's the Boytman. You know, that pattern on his arms kind of looks familiar. Good job. Ah, very good! The pointy business is doing great. Yeah, I'm not your boss. What are you talking about?
that's understandable. I haven't seen my boss either, like the big boss. Store manager boss. I don't think he pops out too often, I don't even know if he exists. Someone's gotta be signing those paychecks. Gee, I wonder why that is! This is the point man. He points. He also belongs in a Hideo Kojima game. He likes pointing people in the right direction. And also, you need to be a flower to get in here. Or like a bug. He's the business sort anyway. Oh, uh, maybe you should keep that to yourself next time. Good living! Yeah, you bet. Four islands worth. Please, don't tell me any more about that. I don't think I want to know. And that's why all babies are made. Yeah, I turned into him instead. Yeah, you told me about that. You eat children. Oh, awesome! I bet it's that light bulb. Creatures with lots of legs! He wants to learn about leg creatures. Alright, he's going back to work, and we have a secret to find now. Also, we need to find another secret for him. A place where creatures with lots of legs. We've kind of been in that area, but we can't access it yet. It'll probably tear us to pieces. I'll get back there a little bit later. There's several areas that we haven't gone to that will actually tear us apart. But that's how we get the light bulb, thanks to Point Man. And there's some toys here, too. Yay, rubies! Especially since I have like 25,000 in there. We got the parabolic smile. The music for this area. And we can finally leave this area. Back to Goon for me. I gotta practice my gooning. I want to get to the level where I stab people instead of shake them. As you noticed, Point Man has been our signs through this entire game. Every time you saw a pointy hand, that was Point Man. I'm calling him Point Man. Ah, uh, we don't really have anything to do here, do we? Let's change the music at least. That's a lot better. I don't have the funky set yet, so I can't change out my equipment. I do have that geometric set, though. What was it? Defense and luck? I don't really need that, though. I mean, these are plenty good as it is. At least we could, uh, we could have some numbers. So, next time on Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass... We're still heading towards the legs of the ancient giant. Looks like there's a little quaint little town in the way. Good night, folks. <laughs>